It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. If you watch the Whitbread Celebration Ale video, you will know that it's now time to get into the next really old boxed beer that I picked up in a flea market in Cardiff. Um, this is the Celebration Ale, the Millennium Celebration Ale. If you haven't seen the, the, the Whitbread Celebration Ale, have a look at it. It's quite an interesting video. Um, everything's put back in the box now. I'm going to save the box and the contents it had a cork and a wax top um it was a barley wine at 11.5 percent abv and it was 32 years old 32 year old beer but today we're going to concentrate on the millennium this is a celebration ale now of course the millennium happens every thousand years uh, there was a brewing company that decided to make a beer in the 1990s that would age and be ready for 1999, the year 2000. You know, when the clock struck 12, the idea was that you opened this beer. Isn't that fantastic? So it's, this traditional real ale has been brewed and bottled to reach maturity in time for the millennium. So somebody didn't get around. Now look at this wooden box. Look at this amazing wooden box. Somebody obviously bought, now I can imagine somebody buying two of these. If you're going to buy one of these, you're going to buy two of these. I imagine the person who bought this boxed beer, they bought it for the Millennium and they drank it in the Millennium, but they bought another bottle just to stick on their cupboard or hidden away and they were maybe they were going to sell it at a, at a later date. Um, buying stuff in flea markets generally means that, unfortunately, that said person has passed away and then their belongings get sold, their furniture, all the stuff of value gets sold to flea markets. And I was lucky enough to find this in a flea market. I think I paid about £10 for this. It was about £10 to £12. Super, super rare beer because the company, the brewery, isn't in existence anymore. Um, lots of paperwork here. Well, there was. Have I... Yes, there's the, there's the... Now, I believe that the company who brewed this beer, they went on... Let me, let me of course, put you in the picture... They went on to be purchased by Badger, Hall and Woodhouse. Purchased this brewery. So that was on the neck. Christopher Columbus Limited, the Millennium Celebration Ale, 8% ABV, 660 milliliter bottle it's got a wax stamp on it wax top with a cap so it saves me right. christopher clemens limited millennium celebration ale has been brewed exclusively for Christopher Columbus Limited by King and Bands. That's it. Right, that's it. They call King and Bands at the Horsham Brewery in Horsham, Sussex. King and Bands has been a family brewery throughout its history and the origins of the company go back to the early 1800s. So please correct me. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But King and Bands were then taken on by Badger and then probably unfortunately closed down by Badger. If you want to read all of this stuff, press pause on the video now. It is rather interesting. I like the fact that there's literature here in the bottle. They probably thought a lot of this. But without further ado, here we go then, second wax top 
old bottle beer of the day. Um, of course, the first one being the whip bread. Check that out. The whip bread there. <laughs> so. Isn't it amazing? Now, consider this. King & Barnes, as a company, fitted this plastic wrap top. Badger come along, bought the brewery and closed the brewery down. But I'm opening a plastic top, a glass bottle that's been frozen in time. There was a hiss! Did you hear that? Carbonated! My goodness me, look at this! It's carbonated! Look! Oh, my goodness me! This beer is like 1990s, 2024. It's at least 25 years old. It's at least 25 years old. Look at this! If you watch the whip bread video, my goodness me, look at that! If you watch the whip bread video, you will know that that beer was, it was starting to suffer. The cork was starting to rot in the top of the bottle. It wasn't probably in the best condition it was in. <laughs> this look at this we've got carbonation one finger tan colored head ruby dark dark ruby colored beer in the glass eight percent abv good levels of carbonation let's get the aroma my goodness me this is fabulous <sighs> it's nutty, it's roasty, it's toasty. There's some licorice flavours in here. It smells like the combination of a really good barley wine and a really good imperial stout. Nutty, biscuity, bready. They really did make this beer to age. I'm really glad that I went to the, we have a fantastic flea market in Cardiff where, it's not like a London flea market where everything costs an absolute fortune. Everything's relatively cheap in this flea market paid £10 for this, for a 25 plus old beer with carbonation in it. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, <laughs> that. And I just kicked the bloody bottle top with the wax top underneath a load of units. I'm not sure if you heard that. It was under my feet. That is the most splendid liquid. That is divine. That is absolutely fantastic. That is just wonderful. It's divine. It's brilliant. It's fantastic. My goodness me. Oh. It's just brilliant. I'm in awe. I, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to begin. I don't know whether to start with the beautiful, 
beautiful, biscuity, creamy, rich, malty, medium mouthfeel. There's some licorice flavours coming through, there's roasted malt flavours coming through. I can feel the heat of the beer. That 8% ABV sliding down the throat into the pit of the stomach. We have a real beer here. Perhaps I was being a little bit genuous, or, or a little bit generous is the word, for the whip bread. I did say it tasted like if it was today's brewers making the whip bread, perhaps it would be like Molson Coors making a barley wine at 12.5% ABV. It was very thin. It was quite kind of, it, it definitely, the, 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 the core could perished in the bottle. That's not the beer's fault. The beer was not carbonated. This, on the other hand, wow. It's rich, it's creamy, it's decadent. I'm gonna drink the whole bottle. I'm gonna drink every last sip of this beer because guess what? It's fine, it's 25 years old. I'm, <coughs> pardon me, I'm tasting toffee. I'm tasting toffee and nuttiness and biscuitiness and breadiness and Dare I say it, dare I say it, there's a little bit of bitterness coming through from the hops. There's a little bit of bitterness coming through in the hops. This is just astounding, astounding that they made the effort here to make this beer mature until 1999. This, this is the time when I bought this house. I bought this house, I bought this house in the year 2000. I've been living here 24 years. And the fact is that this bottle has been sat somewhere and it's just got better and better and better. King and Barnes. This is a message to Badger Brewery. If you have still got some of the old recipes for King and Barnes, if you've got the recipe to this beer and actually this is a great thing maybe we can we can collaborate maybe because you own the rights to this company maybe you can go through the record books find the recipe for this old beer and maybe you can recreate it that's my direct message to Badger Ales because I believe Badger Ales purchased this brewery this beer is 25 plus years old and I'm rocking it back and forth and you can clearly see the carbonation chasing the head of the glass. That is just magnificent liquid. It really is. I'm gonna keep this bottle. I'm gonna one day, oh my God, it's, it's bottle conditioned. <gasps> it's bottle conditioned. Look, look, look at the liquid. Look, you can see there's little bits of yeast sediment. It's a bottle conditioned beer. <gasps> look, 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 there's the yeast, there's the yeast. Look, it's changed the beer. Look, 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 it's changed the beer. Look at the haze now. Now it may have, this, this may have changed the beer completely. This has, this may have altered the flavours in the beer. Oh, I'm so, I've never been so excited. I've never been so excited in a beer. I mean, look at this. It was bottled condition. It's the reason why the beer stayed carbonated. The yeast, the yeast stayed alive. The yeast didn't die. Look, look, there's some yeast there. There's some yeast in the... I mean, 
if I was next to Badger Ales, I would take 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 this to the the lab and see if we can save some of this yeast from King and Barnes, who they bought in the early two thousands. It's even better. It's even better with the yeast in the beer. My goodness me. Right. Please leave me a bottle. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go on eBay and I'm going to see if I can find any more bottles of this beer and I'm going to buy as many as I can of this because this is just bonkers this is the most perfect forget Harvey's forget Harvey's this is the most perfect perfect bottled conditioned beer that's 30 years old that I've ever tried in my life and my biggest regret and I thought about sharing these beers with people but my fear was sharing it with people who didn't understand as much as I did the significance of a, of a whip bread or a King and Barnes beers the, 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 the fear was that, that they wouldn't have got it and I wanted to give you like 9, 10, however long I've been filming now of my undivided attention for the beer but if there is one regret that I it, it is that I didn't share it with somebody I don't know you can just picture somebody like Martin Cornell or Pete Brown here Melissa Cole Rob from Hopsing, some of the newer beer reviewers, Scott from Scott reviews things. I nearly call him Scott and Wanda. Um, Scott reviews things. You know, you know, some somebody who who would have that like 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 similar understanding of of, of just what we have here. Uh, that would be my only regret. Even 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 the blue van man, even even the blue van man. I mean I mean me and Dave Scott, we we kind of like everything now is is is, is under the floorboards. We're, we're all fine. Even 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 Dave standing here drinking a beer from from nineteen ninety something. I'm I'm pretty sure he would have that very similar kind of like goosebumps. Like oh, wow. We've still got to be with carbonation from all that time ago. Um, I think the next thing to do now is probably to contact Badger, see what we can do, and then go on eBay, maybe see if I can find some bottles of this. Please don't pick up all these bottles of this because it's quite marvellous. It's quite wonderful. It's quite marvellous. Um, but yeah, rating... This yeast on the on the head. There's still head. There's, there's still a head retention on the beer. It's unbelievable. If this was a wine, you would be talking tens of thousands of pounds. You would be talking like a matured wine, like 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 matured ale, like this with with carbonation. How I found this bottle for. 10 to 12 pounds I don't know this, this this for me I mean I know wine's bonkers but if this was a wine this would this would be worth tens of thousands of pounds rating that might be one of the best barley wines I've ever drank in my life and that's probably something to do with the fact that it's been aged incredibly well. It's amazing. I cannot get over to you guys enough just how amazing 
so they put it in a dark box they put it in a black box they just didn't cap it because they knew they knew the the cap will will, will give off even minute it will let air into the bottle on on a minute stage and over time that would ruin the beer there would be enough air to get into the beer that would ruin it so they they kind of like plastic sealed the bottle and that little bit of plastic seal i didn't understand the significance when i first opened this beer but that little plastic seal we unwrapped that is probably what kept this beer in a fantastic fantastic condition 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 from real Ale craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers